everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a kawaii pastel radio charm using polymer clay. So start off by taking and conditioning the base colour you want your radio to be. I'm using this lilac colour. You'll then want to begin shaping it into a rectangular prism using your fingers and work surface to form the faces. I like to do it this way so that the shape ends up a little more rounded because if you cut the shape out using a blade, all of the edges will look very sharp and harsh. Next I took some light pink clay which I'll use to make the speakers. So roll out two pieces into a ball and then flatten these down onto your work surface using your finger or you can use a clay roller if you wish. I then just positioned them on either side of the radio and then took my needle tool and made some crisscross indents on each of them. Now take some more of your base colour and flatten it down into a small sheet using a roller. Then take a blade and trim off the outside edges so that you're left with a neat little rectangle. You can then go ahead and place this in the centre of the radio between the two speakers. I then take my needle tool and use it to make some indented lines within the rectangle piece to create a sort of border looking thing I guess you could call it. And then using my dotting tool, I created two small indents within that. Now take another piece of your base colour and use your roller to flatten it down. Again, use a blade to trim off the edges and this time we want to create a longer rectangle. So place this strip in the centre of the radio but closer to the top this time. To then make the buttons, I rolled out some small balls of different coloured clay. I used some pastel colours to go with a the theme and then placed these along the strips and then you can also indent those as well using a dotting tool. Once again, I took some more of my purple base colour to create the handle. So I rolled it out and then used my blade to cut away the excess clay. You can then curve down each of the ends and then position it on top of the charm. To keep it secure and join it on properly, I blended down the edges using my needle tool. Now moving on to the face, I created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go. I then took two balls of brown clay and then placed them inside and then also indented those as well. For the mouth I curved a small piece of the brown clay and then attached it using my needle tool. And finally, I used a pink chalk pastel and a small brush to apply the cheeks beside each of the eyes. You can then add an eye pin if you want to make it into a charm and then bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I then removed the eye pin and applied some super glue to keep it nice and secure and then painted on some glaze. And so that is everything for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Here are some photos that have been sent in to me on Instagram and Crafty Amino. If you make a charm using one of my tutorials or just any creation inspired by me, be sure to post a photo and use hashtag RachieH96 so I can see it and feature your work at the end of a tutorial.